This is Dion, Cold Pioneers. In today's video, we'll be looking at the Red Dragon M686 RGB backlight. Check it out. Backlight wireless gaming mouse versus the Apple Magic Mouse 2. Is there a comparison? Is there any comparison? Let's get into it right now. Now, as a web developer, I use a mouse at least 8 to 10 hours every single day and right now I'm currently using both of these mice every day I switch between the two depending on what I'm doing and of course the first thing that we look at is <laughs> one's bigger than the other one Red Dragon is clearly bigger than an uh, Apple Magic Mouse 2 but not only is this bigger than this mouse but just the ergonomic design of it is just great. I mean, look how perfectly that fits. It, it's made to fit a human hand. There's rubber ridging on the side there that you can see. And it, yeah, if you could see it there, this rubber ridging right here grips your thumb and your pinky finger on the opposite side of that there. So this mouse is just made for a hand to be on. These little two two buttons right here either speed up the cursor, the top uh, speeds it up, the bottom slows down the cursor. You have the nice little roller wheel here for scrolling up and down browser windows. And then you got these nice little like uh, three buttons here on the side that you can program. Now, of course, on Windows, it's easy. Um, but on a Mac, you have to download like some third-party software like Steer Mouse to be able to actually change the settings to control these or make these like some shortcuts. So this is a really good option too, especially if you're used to like the gesturing on uh, the Apple Magic Mouse, um, which is, by the way, what you lose by going to a gaming mouse like this if you're using a Mac. Apple's gesturing is nice, right? Because you, you grab the, the, the mouse and like you can just use two fingers to touch windows sideways and just do all kind of cool stuff. But just look at the design though. This is not made <laughs> to fit a human hand like this one. Like this is made to fit a human's hand. I don't know whose hand this is made to fit. I mean, maybe like a puppet or something off of Sesame Street <laughs> or <laughs> I don't know. I don't know whose hand this is made to fit. I mean, it looks nice and sleek, but um, after so many hours of holding a mouse like this, um, it gets uncomfortable and it really doesn't matter like how great the little touch sensors are it just it doesn't make up for the comfort so you know comfort wise this is the way the, to go now here's another uh, upside to the red dragon m686 mouse over the apple mouse you look at the apple mouse here the charging port is right on the bottom of this so what does that mean when this thing runs out of batteries you can't use it at the same time. But the Red Dragon M686 charging port is right here on the edge of it here. So you can use it and it's pointed right in the direction you would be using it in for a computer. And usually I leave it in all the time. Uh, this uh, nice little braided cable, a USB cable comes with it. As you can see, this is a uh, USB-C um, port that's uh, going into there to charge it. And I usually just leave it in all the time. But it does work wire wirelessly and not through Bluetooth, but it uses this uh, little wireless adapter here. So you don't have to really worry about like changing Bluetooth settings and things like that. So that's actually a good thing that the Red Dragon uses this for wireless. And here's the reason why. 
as nice and easy and seamless uh, that Apple tries to make their products, this mouse does not transfer easily to a different computer. And I'll give you an example. So I have a MacBook Pro in front of me right now. But right behind me, uh, right there, uh, there's like a little DJ um, uh, controller that I have the Apple MacBook Air plugged into. If I was to take this uh, mouse and want to use it there, I would have to uh, disconnect the Bluetooth on this computer, um, turn this mouse off, go to that computer, probably disconnect the Bluetooth and reconnect the Bluetooth, or turn the Bluetooth off and turn it back on, turn this mouse back on, and then connect it to that computer. With the Red Dragon, all I have to do, if I want to use this on that computer back there, I just plug this into that computer. And that's pretty much it. So this is not as seamless as it should be, considering it being an Apple product. So pros and cons. <laughs> I mean, this one here, it looks cooler, is more comfortable. Um, it's easier to switch between devices with, which really just overall makes this uh, the better mouse. Now, if your workflow um, on a Mac involves using all the gestures in here on here, and you realize you're losing that on this mouse here, um, the reality is this mouse actually makes you faster because all the gestures that you can use on the Magic Mouse, um, you can actually use like keyboard shortcuts. You can program stuff into these buttons here and eventually you just become faster because you're not as reliant on the mouse to do certain shortcuts. You start using the keyboard more, which is better for like gamers, developers, anyone who um, has to type for a living, you always want to be able to use the keyboard more so than the mouse. And this attaches you to the mouse more so than you should be. The Red Dragon is uh, a better mouse, is going to make you a better uh, keyboard user as far as shortcuts it's going to speed up your workflow and in the end that's really what you want to do that's what it's all about like this video is not just about hey um, let's review a, a mouse and uh, which one to use but uh, any little bit you can get better in your workflow to make things easier and faster you really want to take advantage of it so I'm going with this mouse. I'm gonna to have to put this one down. We had some good times together, but I will be going with the Red Dragon M686 wireless uh, mouse. Also wired as well, as you can see. So let me know what you think in the comments. What mouse are you using? Are you on a Mac or are you on a PC and you need to think about using a different mouse? Let me know in the comments. If you're not subscribed to this channel uh, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and if you like this video give me a like and i'll see you in the next video